Vaya regalazo de navidad que lo acaba de hacer Google Y es que acaban de presentar Gemini, una bestia parda que se convierte en la herramienta de inteligencia artificial más potente que existe Mejorando incluso la mejor versión de ChatGPT con GPT-4 y a todas las demás ¿Pero qué es Gemini? Pues quédate que te lo cuento Gemini es un modelo multimodal hecho desde cero Y esto cambia completamente el panorama Porque sí tenemos GPT-4V, que es el modelo multimodal de GPT-4 Pero aparentemente GPT-4 funciona a partir de distintos modelos diferentes No está hecho desde cero para ser multimodal como si que lo está Gemini Y es que esto lo cambia todo porque que esté hecho desde su concepción como un modelo que entiende tanto texto como audio como imágenes como código y como vídeo por primera vez no lo habíamos visto nunca Gemini se presenta en tres modelos con diferentes tamaños Gemini Ultra la bestia parda que es capaz de todo Gemini Pro que la podemos utilizar desde hoy mismo a través de bar y Gemini Nano para dispositivos como móviles tablet y demás y es mejor que GPT-4 pues según las primeras pruebas parece que sí es bastante mejor que GPT-4 en prácticamente todo otra cosa que mola mucho es que Alpha Code 2 está integrado con Gemini y esto para programar no tiene competencia. Otra cosa que mola bastante y que lo diferencia mucho de herramientas como ChatGPT es que Gemini puede crear sus propias interfaces de usuario para que el usuario interactúe mucho mejor con el contenido que genera. ¿Cómo puede utilizar Gemini? Desde Bar lo puedes utilizar desde hoy mismo a no ser que seas de Europa, porque ya sabéis cómo va la legislación de Europa que tarda unos días en aprobar la herramienta, así que lo mismo si eres de Europa lo puedes utilizar en unos días. Ahora, puedes utilizarlo con VPN en Opera, por ejemplo, y poniendo tu cuenta con idioma predeterminado en inglés. Es que Google y DeepMind acaba de romperlo por completo. Os voy a mostrar un vídeo en que enseña las verdaderas capacidades de Gemini. Pero antes, si te gusta la inteligencia artificial, pues sígueme para más. All right. Testing Gemini. Here we go. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing, with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm, what if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes. A duck is a type of waterfowl in the family Anatidae. Ducks are closely related to geese and swans. The duck appears to be blue. This is not a common color for ducks. However, there are some breeds of blue ducks. These are typically not as common as other duck breeds. It is more common for ducks to be brown, black, or white. Are you sure? What the quack? I was just talking about a blue duck, and now you're holding one. It looks like blue ducks are more common than I thought. Would this float? I'm not sure what material it's made of, but it looks like it might be rubber or plastic. What if I tell you it's making a squeaking sound? Oh, if it's squeaking, it's definitely going to float. Mm, nice. It is a rubber duck. It is made of a material that is less dense than water. Can you teach me how to say this in a different language? And give me a few options. Ooh, can you explain how to pronounce the Mandarin one? Is it Yatsu? Yatsu is pronounced with a first tone. In Mandarin, there are four tones, which are essential to distinguish the meaning of words. The first tone is a high level tone. Oh, okay. The duck is in the middle of the ocean. There is no land nearby for the duck to rest or find food. It is unlikely to find ducks here naturally. Okay, based on what you see, come up with a game idea. Oh, and use emojis, please. How about this? We can play a game called Guess the Country. Sure, let's do it. Clue one. This country is the home of the kangaroo, the koala, and the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, that's easy. Clue two. This country loves football and has won the most men's World Cups in football history. Hmm. You are trying to get me to find the paper ball under the cup. I accept the challenge. The cup to the left. Nice. I know what you're doing. You're playing rock, paper, scissors. What do you see now? The fingers are spread out to look like the wings of a butterfly. What's this? Big ear and barking mouth, a dog. Sweet. The coin should be under the right hand. Hmm, I don't know. The coin is in the left hand using a sleight of hand technique to make it appear as if the coin has disappeared. Both objects are round and flat. There you go. Both are food. The orange is a healthier choice than the cookie. Citrus can be calming and so can the spin of the fidget toy. They are both examples of popular toys that have been enjoyed by children and adults alike for many years. Give me some ideas for what I could make with this. I see pink and green yarn. How about a dragon fruit? Or how about a green cake with a pink heart? Okay, how about these colors? And maybe show me some animals. Okay, now I see blue and pink yarn. How about a pig with blue ears? Or an octopus? Or a bunny with a pink nose? Ooh, I'll keep those in mind. Which way should the duck go? Going left leads to a duck, which is a friend. Going right leads to a bear, which is a foe. It is better to make friends than foes, so the duck should go left. <laughs> Smart choice. This is a picture of a crab. That's right. Is this the right order? 
No, the correct order is Sun, Earth, Saturn. Based on their design, which of these would go faster? The car on the right would be faster. It is more aerodynamic. Which looks more fun? The one on the right, because it has a loop. What do you think this person might be saying? How about a woohoo? Oh, I love that. I see you're drawing a guitar. You've added an amp. Now it's an electric guitar. We can make some seriously loud music now. Given that you added drums, how about some 80s hair metal? All right, I see you've added a palm tree to the drawing. Change it up with some beachy vibes. What movie are they acting out here? I think they are acting out the famous bullet time scene from The Matrix. Ooh, nice. What do you think might happen next? The cat is going to jump to the wall and stick the landing. It's going to be a perfect 10. Oh, and it's a miss. It looks like it was just a little too far away. But don't worry, the cat is a natural athlete and it will be back up there in no time. Okay, I've got one more for you. Describe the drawing I made. It is a simple line drawing of the constellation Gemini. You did a good job of capturing the beauty of Gemini. Nice, that's it. I think we're done.